The Rich Man and the Monkey By Idris Shah A monkey once said to a very rich man, Do you not realize quite how poor I really am? I have no great mansion, no fine clothes, and no delicious food, like you. I have no means of transport, no lofty library, and no savings. I have no handcrafted furniture, no vast areas of land, and no lavish articles of adornment. I, quite simply, have nothing at all. In contrast, you have all of these things and more. You are a very rich man. The very rich man thought of his splendid house, ran a hand over his embroidered silk waistcoat, and mentally inhaled the tantalizing aromas coming from his imaginary supper table. He sighed as he gazed at his majestic carriage and sadly shook his head upon remembering his cavernous library, his considerable savings, his ornate furniture, and his endless expanses of land, all of which had somehow suddenly ceased to bring him any pleasure. Hanging his head in shame, the very rich man returned home, where he immediately signed over all he had to the impoverished monkey. When the monkey had taken legal charge of all the man's possessions, the once very rich man said to him, Now what are you going to do with all of this? The monkey adjusted his splendid hat and patted his golden buttons, put his feet up on a stack of precious books, and said, Get out of my sight immediately. Why should I lower myself by talking to an impoverished fool like you? The story highlights the themes of perspective, where wealth does not necessarily equate to happiness, and the importance of thoughtful generosity rather than impulsive giving.